Well, I thought it was about time to do a review on the, using the Starlink for a while. This is where I had to end up, end up putting the antenna. We don't have a whole lot of choices around here. Um, putting it up higher on the peak of the house really wouldn't have done me any good because of those trees right there. So those trees actually give me a blockage. So when I look at the sky from underneath, the antenna is right there, the corner of it. It's actually looking toward the North Star. And when it does, these trees over here block the signal. And that tree right there, I think it is, blocks the signal um, a little bit. There's a little bit of blockage from that. This, this big tree over here doesn't seem to bother it. Either that or it's just the tip of this tree that's... that's I'll show you in, the, in the, the view that's on the Starlink app. Anyway, the, the uh, download speeds have slowed down. I just saw a video that a guy did the other day, and um, he uh, claims that uh, Starlink's throttling the speed because now they're offering a premium package which is five times more expensive than the one that i'm paying for which is already expensive enough um, so he's saying that the uh the speed's been throttled and uh, and maybe that's true i don't know uh our speeds are still many many times better than we were getting with frontier frontier is absolutely the worst company to deal with. If you ever have to do telecom business, don't do it with Frontier if you have a choice. Unfortunately, Frontier has a monopoly in most areas where they do offer the service. They're the only show in town, so you pretty much have to take it or leave it. So, either way, um, I'm pretty. I'm still pretty happy with the speed, but you got to be. This guy made some good points in his video, and I agree with most of what he said. Uh, the throttling, I'm not sure about, but I, I'm pretty happy with the uh, the speeds I'm getting. Even if we are throttled down, at least the uh, speeds are, you know, like I said, many times better than we were getting with Frontier. Um, the um, he made the points he made that really made sense to me were first of all if you are in um, if, you, if you are doing gaming um, there are outages and even if you have clear sky apparently there are some network outages so um, the um, so if you're doing gaming or if you're doing Zoom video, or I do Skype video, but if you do video streaming, there's going to be interruptions. So, the same thing with the gaming. You know, you'll have 100 megabits per second, uh, and then it'll drop off, and you'll have an obstruct, have a, it'll lose the signal. So, in my case, there's obstructions. So, uh, I'll show you what they are. But um, and I can't get around them. There's really nothing I can do here to make it any better. I mean, this is my choice. I have lots of trees around the house. And I thought about putting the, the dish out here. This tree here is an apple tree. And I could totally prune that down to where it's not a problem. But that big tree there is going to be a problem. And that tree over there, right there, is probably going to be an issue. And, you know, but as you're looking up in the sky... Uh, if I moved it out here a little ways, I might get a little bit better signal. I don't know. I might end up doing that. But at any rate, um, there are things that, you know, Starlink's not that good at. And, you know, there are outages. So I just came in here and I'm going to do a random test uh, just to see what we get. The uh, ping is a little high, 56 milliseconds. The 
42 down. And seven up. So that's not, uh, so it's inconsistent. In a lot of cases, it's inconsistent. It has um, really fast speed sometimes. Sometimes it's not so good. Um, the 42 down is, you know, the guy that I watched his video yesterday uh, that claims that uh, we're being throttled. Uh, the 42 down actually does look like throttling to me because I was consistently getting over 100 megabits per second. And now, uh, you know, I consistently get under 100 megabits per second. But, you know, the truth is, um, it, even at 42 megabits per second, and believe me, that's where kind of a slower speed that I usually get than the ones I usually get. Uh, it's still, you know, I was getting, even when Frontier hooked me back up again after nothing but trouble, they, we were getting eight megabits per second, and uh, that was the best we could get. So, um, even at 42 megabits per second, I mean, it's still way better than, what's that, five times faster uh, than uh, Frontier. So, I had to buy a, uh, a switch, an Ethernet switch, so I could hook up our wired computers. So I got this Ethernet switch right here. That's um, my Ethernet cables are all plugged into. So and I had to buy a an adapter for the for the router to give me a an Ethernet cable that I could hook up to that switch. So there's a few extra things that you didn't have to do before like the first routers came with a an ethernet connection that you could hook to your own router or you could at least hook up a hardwire computer we're pretty happy with the with the starlink system it's definitely a way way better than what we had the uh, the outages are kind of an issue and the um, uh, the speed fluctuations are kind of of an interesting issue still just uh if you're going to do video conferencing or gaming probably starlink's not the best system to do that with you need to probably be best to have a wired system some sort uh, if you can get it anyway that's about where we're at right now